welcome to Art Day Wednesday. My name is Leandra. And I'm William. Today we will be making our very own punch baking tote vest inspired by the artist Aaron Douglas. Okay, the materials that we'll be using today for our, our craft, we'll be using print making ink. We'll be using stamps. We have like all different types of different types of styles of stamps here. Um, our, we have baby wipes that we're using in case you make a mess. We have some dabbers. We have some plexiglass, which we'll be using to put our ink on. We have some cellophane, and what we're doing with the cellophane is we're drawing in our, our little pictures and we're cutting them out. We have a dry eraser marker that we use to draw on our cellophane. We have different types of ink here. We have some string that we'll be using for print making. We have some cardboard. We have a brayer. We have some scissors. We have some tape that we're actually using so that we're able to pick up at our cellophane pictures. And we have a tote bed there. So next we'll, we'll be talking a little bit more about our artists. So as mentioned, Aaron Douglas is the artist that will be the inspiration for our project today. Douglas was a painter during the 1920s and 30s during the time of the Harlem Renaissance, which was a time when African-Americans began to address the question, what is African-American culture? What is its history, its music, its philosophy, its art? Aaron Douglas was the foremost artist that began to address the question, what does art look like that is both African and American. Our project today will start to show you what some of those features look like in his art. Uh, today, our subject for our art project will be transportation. One technique that Aaron Douglas used in his work was the team continuous progression of his subject matter. And we incorporated that into our transportation project today. As you'll notice, it starts with the foot, then it progresses to the horse, and then to the car, and then finally, the rocket. Alrighty, so now we're gonna start on our craft. So what I did here is I made some cute little printmaking tools. Um, I actually took cellophane and I cut off different of my props. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my printmaking, Hey, and I'm gonna put it on my plexiglass. I actually add a little piece of, I actually add a little piece of tape so that it will be easy to hold and press down my tool. So the first arrow of transportation first by foot. I'm gonna take a dog, I'm gonna take my dog list, and I'm gonna go around. I'll lift my foot. And as you can see, it made my cute little foot. And the next arrow was my horse. So I already cut off my horse. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did there. Press my horse down. I'm gonna use another color. I think I'll use green. The green there. I'm gonna take another dog with and dab it there. I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did for the foot. I'm gonna go around and dab. This craft can get a little messy, so make sure you have some baby wipes or some paper towels made. So, take this off. And as you can see, my cute little horse. And the next area was by car. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, 
I have a wet dry eraser marker. I'm gonna take my cellophane and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw a car and I'm actually just gonna cut it out. cut my car out and then I'm gonna wipe away the dry erasure marker. And then I'm gonna repeat the, the steps that I did with the feet in. I think I'm gonna use the color orange now for this one. There's my car. Next, I'm gonna, well, I actually already drew my rocket, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut my rocket out. So I finished cutting my rocket, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna actually use the color red. That's my rocket. So now I have four different types of transportation that was from past to present. And what I'm gonna do in my background, I was gonna do some cool effects using printmaking tools. I actually have a piece of cardboard and I have some string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap my string around my cardboard. I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna take one of these dabbers and I'm gonna just dab along the string of my yarn. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna find a space on my bag and I'm gonna lay down my cardboard, my yarn, I'm gonna press it down. Pull it up and it makes a cool printmaking little design. And I'm gonna do it on another side of my bag as well. Put it right here. We actually have a stamp that was made here at the gallery. It's all also a form of printmaking. What I'm gonna do here before my bag get covered up, I'm gonna put the Suffer Art Gallery's logo on the side of my bag. As you can see, we have the Suffer Art Gallery's logo on the side of my bag. And I also have some cool leaves. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually take my ink. I have different, several colors, and I'm gonna use these to make some printmaking on my bag as well. So now our tote is complete. Uh, what we did here, we actually add some stamps into our tote. So what we, uh, we did was we uh, had several different types of stamps that were made here at the gallery. Um, and what we did was we used our paint and we just dabbed them and we printed them onto our bags. We also used the yarn method that I went over as well. And we use it in several areas of our totes as well. Um, if you have any uh, printmaking tools at home that you would like to make or, you know, it's simple, um, you can create your tote exactly however you want to.
Thanks for joining us on today. I thought this was an awesome crowd. You can actually use any type of subject matter, but we decided to go along with transportation. Um, I had a wonderful time. I thought this craft was fun. Hope to see you next time. Bye.